Hi guys, I hope you are so well and Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. I hope your Ramadan's been amazing so far. But I've got two things that I want to mention before I hit the topic of this video. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me what I have on my lips. So I'm going to quickly go through my little lip mixture of the day. So I started by lining my entire lip with Strip Down by MAC, which as you guys know is like my favorite lip liner ever. And on top of that, I put some of this liquid lipstick by Too Faced. This is in the shade Holy Chic. I've also put this liquid lipstick by the bum out at corners to create kind of an ombre effect. And then I lined the corners of my lips with Cork Lip Liner by MAC. I want to announce an amazing giveaway I'm doing with Yord Watches. As you can get from their website, are not only beautiful, unique, and absolutely stunning, but they're also created while taking into consideration sustainability and efficiency, which is not something you see very often. The giveaway is for $180 off anything on their website. You get free international shipping so everybody can join, and you get free sizing to your wrist because they're all made specifically to the size of your wrist. And if you don't want to join the giveaway, I have a $25 coupon code in the description box so make sure you check that out the link for the giveaway is in the description box so all you need to do is click on the link and follow the instructions so we're going straight into the video today and i am talking about a very very requested topic and i know this is funny that i'm going to talk you guys through my hair routine and whatnot because i wear hijab and i cover my hair but i don't know about you guys but i feel like hair care and taking care of your hair generally in the hijabi community is so unspoken and i feel like we need to raise awareness towards the issue of not taking your care of your hair when you wear hijab yeah, i know a lot of you girls out there feel the same you wear a hijab every day so you don't feel the need to put a lot of effort into your hair which is where everything goes down here. This video is going to be in a few segments. I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about my hair journey and my hair care journey and a little bit more about my hair and my texture and everything. And then I'm going to go into talking about my hair care routine and all the products I use. And then after that, I'm going to give some do's and don'ts for how to style and take care of your hair while wearing the hijab. And I feel like, as I said before, this is something that's so important and people don't really talk about this at all. I don't think I've seen a video of a hijabi talk about, you know, her concerns of her hair and, you know, openly discussing it. So I really want to be the first person who really openly discusses this and make you guys feel comfortable to discuss this as well. Because I know, like me, so many other girls have issues with their hair and because they wear the hijab, they don't feel like these issues should be taken care of or they don't feel comfortable to talk about them. And I'm going to make a space, an open space where everybody can talk about their hair issues in the comments below. Let's start from the beginning, um, from when I was born. My parents are mixed. My dad's family have Afro-Brazilian in them and then my mum is is Arab. I inherited my father's genetics when it comes to hair. I'm gonna try and describe my hair as well as I can but I'm really really bad at this. I feel like my hair texture is 3B. It's curly, it's slightly coarse, it's long. When I was like a child my mum used to wrap my hair up every single day. She used to comb my hair every single day. She used to take really good care of my hair since I was very young um, and she used to never let me open my hair in school. My hair used to always be in plaits. I went to visit my family in Lebanon. I would always feel like my hair was weird because I used to always get jealous of all my cousins who had really straight long hair and whose hair was so soft. I used to go to the hairdressers there. Kind of felt a little bit inferior because people used to say to my mum like, oh, your, your daughter's hair is too much. How do you deal with it? Or how, there's just too much hair. I can't even do this. I can't comb her hair. Once when I was a lot older, when I was in my teens, when I went to Lebanon, they kind of coerced me into doing a keratin hair treatment, which would straighten my hair. And after that, I felt like I didn't really know what my hair was like. Like my hair texture was completely like all over the place. And I never really, I never really kind of let my, allowed myself to love or cherish or take care of my hair like I wanted to until very recently. And I was just using the same hair products that everybody else was using from the drugstore, you know, like Tresemme and, and all these other typical brands that everybody used. And I didn't realize that that was really bad for my hair. There was a point where I bleached my hair. My hair was completely destroyed. I really wish I didn't do that but alhamdulillah since then my I cut my hair really short and then it grew really long and now alhamdulillah it's very long it's very thick however I do have issues with it that I'm trying to deal with at the moment uh, which I'll talk about nearer to the end of the video because I'm currently getting treatment at a clinic that's a little bit of information on my hair I know that was all over the place but 
I hope you understood what I meant. Um, I'm gonna go into my hair care routine. So my hair care routine has evolved and changed and keeps changing actually um, as I discover new products. But the current hair care routine that I'm using is one that really ensures that my hair is just perfect, soft. The curls are really conditioned in a way that makes them look the best that they can. I only wash my hair once a week and this is because my hair is quite dry so if I wash it more than once a week it gets very very brittle and dry the night before washing my hair I like to oil my hair and I just generally put a lot more oil than I would on a normal day I tend to put it mostly in my ends because that's where the dry and damaged hair is and the oils I like to use are olive oil, argan oil or coconut oil I love coconut oil and argan oil those are the ones I use the most and I love everybody's hair works with different products so what might not work with me works with you what might work with me does may, may not work with you when I wash my hair it's usually the only time I brush my hair during the week because I don't really like brushing my hair when it's dry. I feel like it breaks off my hair, which is not very good. So what I do, I get into the shower, I dampen my hair and I put on some shampoo. My absolute holy grail shampoo, and I tell you guys, I've been using shampoo for definitely over a year. And it's the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. It's the one in the orange bottle, you can see it right here. It's honestly the best shampoo I have ever used on my hair. As I said, I have issues with dryness with my hair. It really makes my hair, the body of my hair feel amazing. So I usually shampoo my hair about three or four times um, because I have quite long hair. I sometimes use head and shoulders just on my scalp once and this is because I do have dandruff. This is due because of two things. One, because I don't really comb my hair that much uh, because my hair gets way too tangled and I just can't be bothered to go through that stress and pain. Um, number two is because I'm getting a treatment at the moment. I just started I have had like two or three treatments for something that I will explain at the end of the video because of this treatment at the clinic I also have dandruff so I try to use head and shoulders but to be honest I don't feel like it's working for me I don't feel like it's doing anything so if you guys know any good treatments for dandruff please let me know in the comments below so after I've shampooed my hair I will go into conditioning and this is a really vital part of my hair routine because this is the part where I comb my hair. <laughs> the conditioner that I'm currently using is the Cantu conditioner. I absolutely love this conditioner so much and I only just started using it because I've been trying to look for another conditioner because I didn't really like the other one I was using from Shea Moisture. I use a tangle teaser which looks a little bit like this just because it doesn't hurt and it makes this whole thing really easy it can take me like 20 minutes to comb my hair completely i do use a wide tooth comb as well sometimes and sometimes i kind of use them together just to make my life a little bit easier so after i've conditioned and combed my hair out all the tangles are out all the dead hairs come out i will wash that conditioner off and then i will get ready to put on a mask now there's two masks that i'm currently using both by shea moisture one that i use alternatively and one that i always use and love the one I use alternatively is the 10-in-1 Renewal System Mask. It looks like this. But it's, it's just got everything basically. It, it moisturizes, it helps with hair growth. It's It's got a lot of good ing ingredients in there which are really good for the hair. The other one that I use which is my Holy Grail Mask and I sometimes mix them together. Deep Treatment Mask by Shea Moisture. This mask is my life. Like honestly any girl out there with dry hair, frizzy hair, this stuff is everything. It's amazing. It's got argan oil in it. It's got amazing ingredients. Go and look it up. It's a brilliant product and it just makes my hair feel amazing. I tend to use this on the ends of my hair and the other one I'll use it in my roots to, to like the, the lengths of my hair. The conditioner that I use by Cantu, you can't really use that on your roots because that will cause dandruff. So I use the masks to kind of condition my roots which is really important for hair growth so I leave these on for about five to ten minutes while that's kind of working in my hair I will scrub my body I absolutely love using coffee scrubs I'm really into that at the moment because it makes my skin feel amazing and exfoliates so nicely and I usually take my time scrubbing my body while that's in my hair so after I'm done with the body scrub with the shower gel anything that I'm doing with my body I will then go and wash 
the mask off using cold water this is really important because it helps to close your pores helps with hair growth and it really helps with your hair as well making it softer shinier and all of that look it up so after I'm done and I'm coming out of the shower I will gently kind of pat dry my hair I will let it dry just a little bit and then I'll put on a leave-in conditioner and the one that I'm absolutely loving right now is the Cantu repair cream leave-in conditioner it smells heavenly and it feels amazing in my hair I am in love the days where you're not washing your hair I still have to treat my hair so what I do and I try to do every day is number one I don't tie my hair in a bun anymore it's very rare that I do I have my hair in plaits that's how I have my hair under my hijab all the time just before going to bed I'll open up my hair and then I'll put in an oil of my choice typically argan or coconut oil in my ends most mostly and sometimes a little bit in the lengths of my hair and then I'll replat it sometimes I'll use I'll go in with a very wide tooth comb to comb it a little bit before I replat it but I basically do this almost every night where I just oil it very little bit of oil you don't want to drench your hair in oil and then replat and honestly my hair just feels amazing when I open it and honestly my hair has never felt so amazing I want to talk a little bit about hijab and hair the most common emails I ever get from girls is Habiba I have issues with my hair my hair is thinning my hair is falling out I have bald spots since wearing the hijab and I never know how to answer this until recently where I gained some information on certain things and I started to become more aware of the effects of wearing your hijab in a certain way I'm gonna clarify this in a second don't don't start attacking me yet don't comment anything yet wait until I finish the video so I started to look into the effects that wearing a hijab incorrectly can affect your hair growth and the reason why I started to look into this how it all started was I started to lose some hair around this area of my forehead it's not that much but I noticed it and I really didn't like it and um, I really wanted to do something about it so I went to a hair specialist who told me a little bit of information about how I was taking care of my hair and the kind of things that I was doing with my hair I wanted to share with you guys some do's and don'ts for hair care and hijab and hair and your and hair loss now I want to clarify something really quickly wearing the hijab does not cause hair loss repeat this with me wearing hijab does not cause hair loss this is because of the way girls are wearing tying their hair under the hijab this is the way that girls are no longer taking care of their hair because they feel like it's covered in a hijab it's not the hijab that's causing hair loss it's the way we take care of our hair with the hijab if that makes any sense i'm not blaming the hijab i wear the hijab and alhamdulillah I'm more than happy wearing the hijab I feel more than comfortable this is who I am and I and I will never assume that this is what causes hair loss now before I go into the do's and don'ts some of these things that people do which I'm gonna list as don'ts they do and they don't really have the effects that other people have the negative effects but most of us do so I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to have healthy hair with a hijab so this is a, like a 10 in 1 kind of video, isn't it? Okay, so number one, and this is something I feel bad about because I once, when I, there's a video that I once made on how to wear your hijab, your underscarf, and I told you guys to tighten, put your hair in a very tight bun, something like this, and this is something I was doing for years. So I used to tell you guys to put your hair in a very tight bun and make it sure it's very tight and very small at the bit behind your head and I then used to tie uh, some hijab, another hijab on top of that hair and then put a hijab on top of my hair so that volume used to suffocate, suffocate my hair that was already tied so tightly I take this moment to actually apologize for advising you girls to do that because honestly it's not good for your hair at all and this is one of the things that causes hair loss number one tightening your hair so tight under your hijab until it's like this little bun is not good for you and I don't know if you guys have noticed recently but I really changed the way I do my hair under my hijab I've changed the way I do my volume I no longer do the same volume that I used to do in the past and one of the reasons behind this is because of my hair and because I started to take care of my hair in a way that prevented hair loss and all these other things this will cause you to have 
a receding hairline, which is not something we want. How I tie my hair under my hijab now is one of two things. Either one really loose bun like this, or I tie my hair into plaits and I just shove it into my underscarf and then tie my scarf on top. So it's always either one of these two and it's usually mostly the tying of my hair into plaits. I, feel, I find that that's the most perfect way to ensure that my hair is not damaged or too tight under my hijab. So number two is using these really tight small hair bands. Now if you have my hair texture I would not advise you to wear hair bands like this simply because they will actually ruin your hair they're really tight anything super tight on your hair is going to ruin your hair for my hair anyway officially ditched these hair bands i'm actually using one of these hijab underscarfs as a hair tie i use something that's thick and not too tight to tie my hair and i feel like that's the best way to tie your hair under your hijab without damaging your hair this is like my final kind of advice is don't tie your hair hijab super tight on your head this locks your pores for your roots and stops your hair from growing as well as it should so these are some do's and don'ts that i've learned these are just a few for the time being maybe i'll do an entire video with more information at some point currently getting laser hair treatments um for hair loss at estee world clinic and i'll put their instagram below um i've only had two sessions but my hair has changed dramatically and as i told you guys i have just a little bit of hair on my temples that is kind of i feel like it's going a little bit and it's not that dramatic but i still feel like i found a huge difference and the kind of things that the uh, the practitioner there was telling me about the, about how many girls go in and most of them hijabis, most of them young girls in their teens sometimes and their hairline, it's actually so sad but their hairline is all the way in the middle of their head because of the way that they tie their hijab and as I said I have not heard anybody talk about this or discuss this before so I feel like this is really important to talk about and to bring out in the open if you've ever had a situation like this before, if you've ever experienced something like this, please talk about it in the comments. Let's all start a conversation. Let's let's bring awareness to this and, you know, let's talk about this more. Um, I am definitely really trying to take care of my, of my hair as much as possible. Just because I wear the hijab, it doesn't mean I shouldn't have beautiful hair. Um, my hair, alhamdulillah, is beautiful, just as all of your hair is beautiful. And if you take care of your hair the way that it should be, it will be even more beautiful. Don't think that just because you're wearing a hijab that you don't need to take care of your hair, or who cares, nobody's seeing my hair. Your hair is you, and when you see your hair looking beautiful, you will feel even more powerful and beautiful. Empower yourself by making sure that you're taking care of yourself. And Islamically, you should be taking care of your hair, you should be taking care of your body, your appearance. It's, it's something Islamic as well. So don't think that you should just neglect your hair or not care how your hair looks just because not a lot of people are seeing it. Your hair is not about people, it's about you and how you feel and how you take care of your body. And that is something that's very, very important. So yeah, guys, I think that kind of covers everything. I hope you gain some knowledge in this video. I hope this means something to you. And <laughs> like, um, yeah, hair is something vital for all of us. And it's something that means a lot to us. And as a hijabi, hair is something very precious to me because it's a part of me that not everybody gets to see so that's why i want to take care of it even more and it just empowers me so much to have beautiful hair and to take care of my hair so i really urge you all who have never thought of this as well as you should to empower yourself by taking care of your hair more than you ever have um, look into your hair type, look into the products that might work for your hair type. The internet is very helpful guys, that's how I found all these products. I will list all the details of the products that I mentioned as well as the clinic that I get my treatments at. I'm also going to mention the website for the giveaway for the watches, don't forget to go and check out that giveaway and um, the items that I used on my lips just to jog your memory. If you've ever gone through anything with your hair, positive or negative, please comment them below. I would love to hear your stories about your hair and your hijab or even if you just 
have never taken care of your hair and you don't wear a hijab but you recently started taking care of it let me hear your story i want to hear your story and also if you have any good recommendations of other products that i can look into for the type of hair that i described that i have please let me know in the comments i will really appreciate that thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i appreciate every one of you so um don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe guys i really need you guys to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and like the video and i will see you guys in my next one bye